Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Friday, October 27th. Welcome to our video commentary. Big story uh, in the last couple of days has been the, the release or the attempted release of some information having to do with the Kennedy assassination, thousands of documents that apparently are in the process or being released and will be released and so on. I happen to be one of those. I, I don't really think that there's going to be any, any big information that is going to come out. There's going to be a lot of little bits and pieces that will be interesting. Uh, but I think the actual conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald was uh, the killer or the man who killed President Kennedy on that terrible day in Dallas, that's not going to change one bit after these documents are, are released. Uh, I, I think that's a, a conclusion that most people uh, believe, and I happen to believe that that is what happened that day. I know it's easy to go down the the angle of this conspiracy, of that conspiracy, but I sincerely believe, after looking at this about 20 years ago, uh, on what what was then the the 30th anniversary of the assassination, there was all kinds of stuff, all kinds of documentaries, and then a gentleman by the name of Posner, P-O-S-N-E-R, wrote a book called Case Closed, and it's a fascinating book, and I think if you read that book and you really see his argument, it's easy to understand why he concluded that it was Lee Harvey Oswald. And uh, after reading his book and watching a bunch of documentaries, I came to the conclusion that it was Lee Harvey Oswald, and I closed the case, as they say, and moved on. Now, other people have continued to, to believe in theories and conspiracies, and that's fine. It's interesting. But I think at the end of the day, it was Lee Harvey Oswald that did it. Now, this, all these new documents that apparently will be coming out uh, there will be some bits and pieces, interesting bits and pieces about Lee Harvey Oswald. And that's, well, that's what interests me more than anything else. I like to know, for example, what exactly, what exactly he was talking about when he visited the Cuban embassy in Mexico City. That, I think, could tell us a little bit about his mindset, what he was thinking, what he told the Cubans. Maybe the, the Cubans who spoke with him that day are still alive and could share some information uh, with us. Now, the difficulty is that this happened 54 years ago, so many of the people involved are, are dead. I mean, it's been such a long time. But it would be interesting to maybe read some of the impressions, some of the files in, in the Cuban government about that conversation between Lee Harvey Oswald and, uh, and the, Cuban, uh, the Cuban embassy that day in Mexico City. But other than that, I, I, I really don't think that there's going to be anything of consequence, and I'm kind of glad, frankly, that the information is being released. Now, some of the documents are being withheld, and I think I understand why. There may be the names of people or politicians or people who are still prominent in, in governments around the world, and we don't want to compromise their identity, and, and that's perfectly reasonable. You know, We have people who work with us, informants or whatever, who work with us, and you've got to protect their confidentiality. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get people... To work with you. So I think these delays that you're seeing are primarily for that reason. I believe eventually these documents will be released. They're not going to add anything to, as I say, the basic story, but it may give us the names or some of the notes or some of the comments, let's say, that somebody made about Lee Harvey Oswald. I think that's probably okay. And some of it, all of it, I think, will eventually, will eventually come out. But the conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald was the killer I think that will remain, and hopefully this will finally be closed so that we can stop uh, you know, with all these conspiracies about what happened that day. Obviously, something very bad happened that day, and it was uh, Lee Harvey Oswald who killed uh, President, uh, President Kennedy. Have a great day, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you later. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas. Go Astros. That's what I want. Go Astros.